Hello guys, how are you doing today? Hope you're having a fantastic day. So today we'll be discussing uh, an important part of critical path analysis. So I'll be discussing about the free float, total float and terminal float, okay? So free float is the number of time you can delay an activity without delaying the next activity or the early start of the successful activity. And the total float is the number of time you can delay an activity without delaying the end date of your project. So free float, next activity, total float, end of the project. Okay, terminal float is the difference between your plant completion and the contractual completion. So so for example, say the contractor says, you know, they're going to finish the project on the 10th of May, but the contract says they have to finish on the 20th of May. So the difference between 10th and 20th is the terminal float. They own it. Okay. So if there's any delay on their own part, they will eat through the float. And if there's any delay from the contractor, uh, from the client side, the, the program will move with the terminal float. So the, the contractor, the client cannot use that terminal float. Okay, it's owned by the contractor. So I'll show you on pre previous practices how to do that. So look at these activities in basics. Okay, so all these activities with negative or zero are critical activities or activities in red. So they're negative because they've gone past the, the date they have to be delivered. Okay, uh, based on the forecast date. Okay, so any activities with positive value, they are actually uh, less critical. They are on. They've got free float. Okay, so the, all these green activities have got free float. So if you look at here, so I've created a level of effort activity to measure the difference between the plan completion and the contractual completion okay so here the plan completion date is 14th of may okay and the contractual completion date is the 20th of may 2024 okay so the difference between those two is this terminal it's what i've represented with this uh, terminal float so if you bring it back you see the duration of the terminal float is five days so the contractor has got five days to play around with hope this is clear if you have any question please drop it in the comments below please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel i'll see you on the next one